Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asa Morant and this is more 49ers news as usual. And on this 49ers news, it's all about this guy right here. Uh, um, this article is on NinersNation.com and it says, uh, Carl Shanahan explains why Nick Bosa's return is a big game changer for the 49ers. So, this is by Jazz, uh, Jazz Kang on the uh, NinersNation.com. So let's read. San Francisco's head coach hoped on uh, all, uh, Hall of Famer receiver Michael Evans' po podcast and was asked about the 2019 NFL Defense Rookie of the Year's return. So here we go. The 49ers added several talented pieces this offseason. General Manager John Lynch and head coach Carl Shanahan dipped the, uh, the free agent market and signed Alex Mack, um, uh, Samson uh, Ubank, Terrence Sheffield and Maurice Hurst. The Niners also added eight picks in the 2020 NFL draft, including quarterback Trey Lance, who the team traded up to select number three overall. All of the uh, addition, uh, uh, additioners will help uh, the 49ers in its pursuit of the sixth Lombardi Trophy, but the return of the play who missed virtually all of last season will have the biggest impact. Defence lineman Nick Bosa is doing well in, this, uh, in his rehab after tearing his ACL in week two of the 2020 campaign. He's expected to be back to be uh, back to be ready to go for the team's training camp. Okay. Uh, the absence of the former number two pick in 2019 Defence Rookie of the Year was uh, was felt. Uh, Mrs. Lee last season. The 49ers ranked 5th in hurry percentage last season but wound up 21st in total sacks. Uh, the defence was missing some key pieces due to injury in 2020 but without Bosa the unit lacked a finisher. Shanahan hoped on the Hall of Famer receiver Marco... The absence of the number two round pick and 2019 Defence Rookie of the Year was felt uh, missively last season. The 49ers ranked fifth in hurry percentage last season but would up 21st in total sacks. The defence was missing some key pieces due to injury in 2020. But without Bosa, the unit lacked a finisher. Shanahan hoped on a Hall of Fame receiver Michael Irwin's podcast and was asked about Bose's uh, impending return. That's on the 49ers website. Uh, it's huge that's, uh, it's huge. there's lots of good players uh, in the league and Nick's only played one year. But I think everyone saw the type of player he is now and that he was uh, his rookie year, Shanahan said. Everyone saw that in college. He didn't play in a ton then, missing that last year and stuff. But when you have a guy at the level and there's not, not a ton of them, it changes who you are. Bosa was excellent during the rookie campaign. He finished 2019 season with 47 tackles, 9 sacks, 25 quarterback hits and to uh, 80 total pressures. Pro Football Focus gave Bosa an 86.7 overall grade in 2019, the fourth highest of any rookie edge rushers since the site began tracking player stats. The 23-year-old has the uh, has the prepared torch of a polished veteran. The 23-year-old the has the best polished veteran. Bosa can use various pass rushing moves to defend, de beat defenders and use his lethal com Lethal, le lethal, sorry guys, my apologies. Lethal com uh, combo of speed, strength to get after the quarterback. Shanahan looks around the league and sees the impact at elite presence in front seven. In front seven has on the game. All right, so Shanahan says, not comparing these guys, but uh, the type of level guys are. If the Rams don't have Aaron Donald, that's going to be difficult. Shanahan said, uh, if. Denver loses Von Miller is going to be different. There are different guys on the D-line. Uh, that, that there's a few that are different. How JJ Watt was in Houston, it changes everything. And when you and when, and when you can get good players around people like that, and you can have a good scheme, it's tough to be. It's tough to mess with because there's not people in the league that can block those guys. You can hold on and you can try to scheme and stuff so you'll limit the opportunities. But these dudes ain't getting blocked. It's a matter of time. So you better make sure it's one dismissional game. 
you better make sure they're playing run playing pass playing play action playing keepers because if not those dudes tease off it's over then that's they'll get the MVP Bosch's re- uh, Bosch's return will have a domino effect on the rest of the defence Art Armstead Jason Kinlon hopefully our health the D uh, D Ford will have more room to work with as uh Opposing offence is key in on slowing down Bosa. New uh, defensive coordinator, DeMarco Ryans, will have plenty of talent to work with. The Niners have a top-flight linebacking group led by all-pro Fred Warner and uh, Dre Greenlaw. San Francisco's secondary is full of veterans including Jace Vern, Kiwan Williams, Jamie Ward and Jodeski Tart. But Bosa is the straw that stirs the drink. When he was healthy in 2019, the 49ers defense was simply dominated, ranking first against the pass, sixth in total sacks, first in hurry percentage and second pressure percentage. The unit did lose DeForest Buckner after dealing, uh, after dealing him to the Colts and Ford was able to suit up for 11 games that season. The hope is that Kinlaw will take a leap in this development to help offset Buckner's departure and Lynch is uh, optimistic that Ford will be able to contribute in 2021. Wow, okay. What kind of numbers do you think Bosa will put up next season? Do you think the 49ers will have one of the best defences in the league in 2021? Well, that's a good question. Is Bosa ready? We will find out. I mean, we've seen a lot of Bosa's um, clips. You know, we saw one earlier where he was just running straight. But he's getting better. He looks healthy. Um, there's some clips earlier um, in uh, on the websites and or for interviews. He looks healthy. He looks good in good condition physically. You saw him running as well. Like I said, that looks good. Um, can he do it? That's the problem. Can he commit? I think he, he can uh, commit. But this is the thing: if he gets hit hard, you don't know what the ACL. You know what I mean? You don't know. If, it could be worse. It could not be worse. It could be injured for a minimum of a week to a maximum of the, the whole season. You don't know. Me personally, if he's healthy, then he's ready. But until that comes onto the pitch, you haven't got a clue. We haven't got a clue. But I'm hopefully he'll be ready. Hopefully he'll kick ass for the 2021-2022 season. And I cannot wait for this to happen around the corner. Um, leave your comments, guys. Tell me what you think. Is Bosa ready? Or is he not ready? Do you think he can push push us to the playoffs or at least the playoffs or Super Bowl or whatever do you think he's ready leave your comments down below uh, thank you very much for the 33 subscribers really really pre- uh, appreciate it really fortunate humble for you guys to subscribe and um, uh, subscribe if you're new so we're doing a lot of 49ers news I'll be doing like gaming streaming as well so I found out how to do that I've tried to be doing it for years but I found out how to do that as well and um, yeah thanks for guys for watching and I will see you guys uh, on the next video